Let's see what Miss Stoker is doing. was a hard one but I had that song stuck in my head and I had to figure it out on recorder hello first graders welcome back to music Monday number two with mrs. Stoker did you have a good week I hope so and I am so looking forward to seeing you guys that next Monday, instead of just a video, we're actually going to have our first live Zoom. So when you go to find the link for, oh, I always forget. I got to look at my camera. I keep staring at myself. All right, you're up here. Okay. When you look for the link for the video, you're going to find a link for a live Zoom. So you're gonna click on that during your specialist time and we'll get to hang out together and we'll do some fun stuff. And then I might send you a way to watch my video. It'll probably be a little short one. Um, but so next Monday, Zoom with moi, okay? I can't wait to see you there. And if you can't make it, that's totally okay. Uh, we're not gonna do anything new. It might be just review of what we do today. Um, so don't even worry about it if you if you miss it. All right. So first grade, we are going to start with something that you might remember from kindergarten. We've got some warm ups because we have some first graders that are brand new. You know, we didn't get to finish our whole kindergarten year. So way back last year, when you were even littler, we learned a warm up called Hello There. So all you have to do is repeat after me. And the motion, like first round, just repeat my motions, okay? No, you can copy my voice too. And if it feels weird to sing by yourself in your bedroom or wherever you are, it's okay because it feels weird to sing in here by myself without any kids. I do have my friends, a pigeon. I do have Bob Ross. I have Han Solo up here, walk off the earth, keeping me company. There's Greg Hefley, music. It's not for wimps. No, it is not. Stop! You're under arrest. Do you get that joke? There's arrest. That little squiggly line is called arrest in music. Very funny. Okay, so you're ready. We're gonna start with your right hand and it goes like this. Hello there. Did you sing it? Did you sing it back? No, you forgot to sing. I'll give you another chance, okay. So I'm not gonna sing. I'm waiting to hear your echo. I will hear it through the computer waves across the lands. You ready? My turn first. You're gonna repeat right after me. Hello there. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. We'll sing and be happy. Now this one we do all together and it says, cause we're all here together again. And it goes like this, you stretch out your arms, cause we're all here together again. And then you give yourself a super tight squeeze. Or if you want to be gentle, you can, you can give yourself a gentle squeeze. All right, we're going to try that one more time. Are you ready? And oh, when you get to this one, this is the sign language for sing. So people who are deaf use signs to communicate and that is the word for sing 
You ready? Are you matching pitch? You're trying to match these pitches. Da, da, da. Hello there. These pitches are the ones you're going to sing all day long. I could sing these notes. Okay, I'll stop. All right, you ready? My turn first. Then you echo me. Here I go. Hello there. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. We'll sing and be happy cause we're all here together again. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Now we're gonna do my favorite. This is about our voices because in music class we use different kinds of voices. Um, you've probably been using a talking voice for a long time, like probably since you were one. And you probably have a yelling voice. I bet when your computer freezes and you're like, Mom, my computer's frozen, what do I do? Probably have a yelling voice. Uh, you just had a singing voice because you sang. What's the fourth one? What's the fourth one? Oh, what'd you say? I couldn't hear you. I'm just kidding. I can't hear you anyway. It's whisper. All right, so instead of yelling, because yelling is really hard on your throat, right? Like if you went to a football game and you were like cheering really loud or you played with your friends and you were screaming, then did you notice that your throat hurts later? So yelling is kind of not really good, but we're going to call it a calling voice. Like you call out to your friend. Like if you were saying, hey, will you go play on the swings with me at recess? I don't have to yell, but I'm just making my voice a little bit louder. So the first one goes like this. You're going to put your hand on your chest because I like to feel the vibration of my voice. So repeat after me. This is my speaking voice. I use it every day. I, I know I'm whispering but I because I'm giving you a chance to do it by yourself. Okay, next one is whisper. Ready? My turn. This. It's quiet, don't you say. It's quiet, don't you say. Okay, this one's my favorite. Ready? Here I go. This is my calling voice. I use it to call, hey. Did you do it? Were you loud? Did your parents come running in like, hey, what's all the going about? It's just Miss Stoker. Just tell them it's okay. It's part of my music assignment. And then my favorite, because it's singing. All right, we're going to do a little head and shoulders. And here's where the higher pitches are. And here's where the lower pitches are. Makes sense, right? Your head's higher than your shoulders. So we're going to do this. Repeat after me. This is my singing voice. It's my turn. I like it. It's okay. I like it. It's okay. And then I would say, hello, first graders. And you would all say back to me, you'd say, hello, Mrs. Stoker. Will you try that? Hello, Mrs. Stoker. All right, so from the beginning, you're gonna do it right with me. See if you can get all four of your voices. Talking, whisper, no, speaking. It's the same as talking, but whatever. Speaking, whisper, calling, singing. Ready? One, two, ready, go. This is my speaking voice. I use it every day. Whisper. This is my whisper voice. It's quiet. Calling. This is my calling voice. I use it to call. Hey, singing voice, ready, go. This is my singing voice. I like it. It's okay. My turn. Hello, first graders. Hello, Mrs. Stoker. Yay! Nice. All right. So we were trying to do something called matching pitch. You got it, matching pitch. So if I was singing, hello, first graders, and you said, hello, Mrs. Stoker, it's too low. 
Or if I said, hello, Mrs. Stoker, that's too high. Or I said, hello, Miss Stoker, that's not even a singing voice. That was a speaking voice. So you're trying to match those pitches. And a lot of kids can match pitch, and some kids think they're matching pitch, and their voice is too high or too low, but that's okay, because guess what? Your voice will change as you get older, and you'll just get better at it. So if you're not quite matching pitch yet, it's okay. It'll come to you. All right, so when we get together next week for our Zoom, I'm going to take some brave volunteers who want to demonstrate how to sing Hello, Miss Stoker. So we'll figure out how that's going to work next week. I don't know how I'm going to take volunteers, but it's going to go like this. So if, let's say, Bob, Bob Ross, if Bob wanted a turn, we're all going to sing Hello, Bob. And then Bob would sing to me, and he would say Hello, Mrs. Stoker. Oh, Bob, nice job. You're so good. He's a good artist and a good singer. What if we did it to Pigeon? All right, you ready? Let's, let's sing to Pigeon with me. Ready? Ready, go. Hello, Pigeon. I guess he's feeling a little shy. Not today, huh? All right, so next week, you, if you're feeling a little shy, you don't have to do it. It's okay. Um, if we were in class, eventually I would make you do it. But this is a little different. Singing over a computer in front of all the first graders might feel a little weird. Or maybe you're like, yes, I can sing in front of the whole first grade and they can all hear me. And that'll be awesome. All right, so that's what we're going to do next week. But here's one more thing we're going to do today. Repeat after me. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's three parts. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. And then what do we count to? We count it to eight. All right. So for the first time when we count to eight, uh, let's keep it simple. Let's just do eight claps, okay? So we're gonna say, I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. And then we're gonna clap eight beats. One, two, here we say, I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. All right, let's see, can we stomp? All right, you ready? So we're gonna say, I think music's neat. One, two, ready, go. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about, can you do big jumps? Okay, you ready? Here we go. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you do it? Okay, so we're trying to do it on the beat. If I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was that right? No, I only did three jumps. That didn't even match. So we're trying to match it. So here's what we're gonna do now. Instead of doing claps or jumps or anything else, we're gonna draw some lines. Oh man, look at this pen. It won't even erase. Rock! All right. So we're going to come over here. All right. So here we are. I have my pen and my whiteboard. And after I say the poem, I'm going to draw eight lines, okay? And I'm going to try and draw them on the beat. And how many lines should there be when I'm done? That's right, eight. Okay, so let's say the poem. I think music's neat. Ready? Oh, the cat says, good luck. This guy's name is Guy. I don't know if my son drew that. Okay, one, two, say the poem. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How would I do? Let's see, do I have eight of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet! All right, I'm gonna try again. Make sure I do it right. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I won! I didn't really win, did I? Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, twenty-five! Oh no! I have way too many. So what did I do wrong? I went too fast. All right, how about this one? Okay, you ready? Here we go. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I do eight of them? No. I went too slow. And I like kept going. Oh, Miss Stalker. All right, one more thing. One more thing that sometimes happens. Watch this one. Okay, start the poem. Ready, go. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, do I have eight? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight, but what did I do wrong? I started before the counting. You gotta start when we say the numbers. And then, I didn't even go on the beat. I went like slow and it was all weird. So this is what you need to do this week. Hey, you're gonna draw your eight lines and I'm hoping that somebody can videotape you. So right in our specialist seesaw where you found this assignment, there's a place where you can add your response and you can make a video. So if there's someone that at home or at your daycare that can help record this, then they can show you drawing your lines for me and saying the poem. And that would be really fun. Maybe they can say the poem and then you can just worry about drawing the lines. That would be awesome. And if you can't figure out how to do a video, if you wanna take a picture of the eight lines that you drew, that would be cool too. One last time to show you how to do it correctly. You ready? So we're gonna say the poem. Here we go. I think music's neat. I can keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. And notice how my lines aren't too big. If I spend time drawing giant lines, they would have slowed me down. But I also didn't make them too tiny because then that may be hard to see. So I kind of made some little lines. All right, so first grade, if you can do that for me, that would be awesome. I would love to see your steady beat. And then next week, we're gonna meet and we're gonna Zoom. And if you are feeling brave and you put your brave pants on and you want to sing by yourself, that could be really fun. Maybe you're like terrified. You're like, no way, Miss Stoker, I'm not doing that. Or maybe you're like, yeah, that sounds really cool. Then we're gonna try that next week. All right, and then we'll do some other things like getting really close to your camera and then getting really far away and maybe going all the way to the left without getting out of the screen maybe going all the way to the right and then my favorite the elevator ah all right i'll see you next week first grade bye